More than 6 million people living in the Miami metro area were spared from the storm's full force, but the city still suffered serious flooding, and hurricane-force winds caused at least two massive construction cranes to collapse. You know, officials were worried about that the whole time. Mark Strassman is in downtown Miami for the latest. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Many of this uh, city's streets are now fields of debris with toppled trees and downed power lines. And some of the most conspicuous damage you'll see here is right in the heart of downtown Miami. This symbol of Miami's economic growth became one of the city's most high-profile storm victims Sunday morning. A construction crane on top of a new 30-story building snapped under winds nearing 100 miles per hour. A little over an hour later, a second crane collapsed a few miles north in the Edgewater neighborhood where Lincoln O'Barry lives. These cranes that are 45, 50 stories up, if they fall, they have the potential to go three or four blocks, and everyone in that area should have been evacuated. A third crane up the coast in Fort Lauderdale also crumpled in Irma's winds. Authorities in all three accidents say there were no injuries, but they won't start a full assessment of the damage until later today. Elsewhere in Miami, Gus ripped the roof off this building. Fire officials say no one was injured here either. The water from the bay has started to go inside the building. Miami's high-end Brickell neighborhood took the brunt of the hurricane's estimated four to six foot storm surge downtown. Ritzy Brickell Avenue became Brickell River. We're feeling these effects and the eye is, what, uh, 200 miles away. That, that is blowing my mind. On Sunday, Miami authorities had to contend with more than 890,000 households losing power, in addition to flooded streets and toppled trees. And police arrested at least 28 people for burglary and looting, with numerous incidents caught on camera. Daylight is giving everyone the first good look at Irma's impact. I want to show you a live picture now of one of those uh, collapsed construction cranes. This is the one in the Edgewood neighborhood. The city had 25 different cranes it was worried about uh, that it could collapse during Irma's winds. Two of them, in the end, uh, did collapse and now have to be uh, addressed. Uh, one of the many ongoing issues here. Irma's impact also had an effect at Miami's International Airport. Flooding will close that airport again today. It will reopen tomorrow, flying a limited schedule. Charlie? Mark, thanks.